So fans of Emotion UI rejoice because Huawei has just spaffed out its fresh new Emotion UI 11 or Amui 11 as it's more affectionately known and it's absolutely stuffed with updates, improvements and fresh new features. Now I've been testing out an early version of Amui 11 so here's a closer look at some of the best new bits that are crammed in there and hopefully Amui 11 should be rolling out to a load of Huawei smartphones soon. Huawei is going to update us on the whole rollout schedule very soon. And for more on the latest greatest tech please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now one of the first things you'll notice when you're playing around with the MUI 11 is the general UI improvements. Huawei has completely overhauled a lot of the individual Emotion UI elements so now they work together in a more cohesive fashion and the overall experience is just that much smoother and slicker. Little things such as the transitions as you're opening up apps, flicking around the different menus. Some of the tweaks are quite minor but overall they work together to make Emotion UI just that much better. One of the updates for instance is the new live icons which actually animate when they're tapped from the shortcut icons in the notifications bar to icons within certain apps as well. Even the vibrations will now sync up better as well. So for instance, when your phone starts ringing, it won't just vibrate at random. The vibrations will actually sync up with the ringtone. And Huawei has also tweaked the gallery app for Emotion UI 11, including a smarter layout for the albums page. And now in the photos page, you can switch from the month view to the day view simply by pinching, which is really handy if you're trying to find specific photos and you can't remember exactly when you shot them. And yes, that is basically just ripping off Apple's photo gallery, but it's about time people started cribbing from them instead of the other way around. And apparently the Celia voice assistant has also been swatting up on her languages so now she can speak German as well as Italian. Ciao Bella! Now one feature of Emotion UI that's been completely overhauled in Amui 11 is the always on display which now offers loads of new designs and some greater customization options. To get to this all you've got to do is dive into the settings menu on your phone then go to home screen and then always on display. In there you'll find new artistic designs including this Mondrian style which is inspired apparently by some dude called Piet Mondrian and these are basically colourful deconstructed boxes that my five year old could have probably drawn in about half a minute while simultaneously picking her nose. According to Wikipedia he's one of the greatest artistic minds of the 20th century. And these are some of his more famous designs. Basically just looks like he got busy with the rectangle tool in paint. And these new always on displays are fully customizable so you can change up the pattern as well as the color combinations and if you don't like the preset colors you can even pull hues out of real life if you select the camera option so if you want your always on display to match your favorite shoes or your cat or whatever just choose a photo from your gallery or shoot a new picture and away you go other new options include my personal favorites the paradox impossible shapes and of course all the original always on displays are still there if you'd rather keep it old school including the ability to just use one of your camera picks or your favorite gif. Now one of the biggest new features that Huawei has added to Emotion UI 11 is the smart multi window. To get this on the go you'll need to swipe your finger in from either edge of the screen and then hold it for a moment and this will bring up the edge dock which is a customizable column of your favorite apps. Just click an app shortcut and up will pop a floating window on top of whatever app you're currently using. And this can be dragged to any size using the bottom corners or minimized with this button up here in the top left at which point it then becomes an orb that you can bring up again at any time with a quick tap. You can actually bring up loads of these apps or ones and minimize them all as well to hide them away so you can then hop between them quickly and easily. I've seen a similar sort of system on smartphones in the past including the likes of LG smartphones and it is quite good if you've got a big screen device you can get two or three apps on the go at one time although things do tend to get a little bit cluttered. But hey if you haven't got the cash for a Samsung Galaxy Z4 then it'll definitely do the job. And here in Emotion UI 11 the Notepad app has also been upgraded to, I kid you not, the Super Notepad and the main improvement is a scanner tool which can extract pictures and text from basically anything that you point your Huawei's camera at. So what you want to do is create a new note and then select gallery down at the bottom of the screen and then scan document and then you can basically just take a photo of whatever you want to import into the Notepad app. With that done hit extract text and you can edit it there and then if you like otherwise just hit save and you can also choose to save any images that you caught in the frame or just the text. This text and the photos can then be tinkered with to your heart's content before finally the whole lot is exported as a word document. Now this feature definitely still needs some love because the occasional letter is missed out here and there and the formatting is a bit balls. But on the whole that scanning feature in the Super Notepad app is very intuitive to use, very easy to get to grips with and I can see it evolving into a rather good feature over time. And if you also happen to own a Huawei laptop as well with NFC built in then there's been some updates to that multi-screen collaboration feature. I haven't had a chance to test out multi-screen collaboration 3.0 just yet unfortunately but you'll be able to open up to three apps at once on your PC screen and you'll also be able 
able to take calls through your PC as well as long as you've got like a headset connected, otherwise just using the built-in mic and camera. And another feature that's been overhauled from UE11 that unfortunately once again I haven't had the chance to test out in this beta version is the privacy controls. A lot of these upgrades are to do with app permissions. So for instance, if the currently active app is using the camera or the mic, you might not be aware of this. Your Huawei smartphone will actually tell you up on the status bar just to clear you in, just to raise your awareness. And meanwhile, apps that are running in the background will be completely banned from using the camera or the mic as well, unless you expressly give them permission. You'll also be able to see a full permission access history for all of your apps. You'll be able to see exactly what they've been using and when they've been using it. And also you won't be able to grant an app universal all of the time permission to use a specific feature when you first load it up as well. You'll only have the option of this time or when in use. But again, if you want to grant an app permission to use one of your smartphone features all of the time, you can actually go into the settings and do that. And also in your photo gallery, you'll be able to set up a hidden photo album as well that other apps can't access and other people can't see. And according to Huawei, that'll be good if you've got important photos containing sensitive information. But let's face it, it'll be used for all the really pervy weird stuff. So that right there is a quick look at some of the best new features packed into a Motion UI 11 by Huawei as revealed at its developer conference. As I say, Huawei should hopefully be announcing a rollout schedule soon and you can expect a Motion UI 11 to come packed onto the Mate 40 or whatever it is that Huawei ends up launching before the end of 2020. But are you excited? Excited by some of the new bits on there, would be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a lovely rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you!